What's good YouTube, it's your boy Ja Hoops and I am back with another upload. In my last upload, I did the top five Eastern Conference NBA teams, um, ranking them from five to the one. And I'll be doing the same thing in this video, but I'll be doing it for the Western Conference. Um, so without further ado, let's start the video. Guys, at number five in the West next season, I have the Phoenix Suns, okay? Now, I ain't gonna lie, this is not being, being biased, but I feel like this team is in a perfect spot for five. Like they're better than New Orleans, they're better than the LA Lakers. They're better than the Kings, in my opinion, still. Um, they did some, they actually addressed their issue. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, after the, after they got swept in the um, playoffs by the Minnesota Timberwolves, everybody was saying, like, man, they, they're one, like, they're lacking size, but two, they're lacking a lot of point guard. You know what I'm saying? They was running Devin Booker at point guard sometimes and running Bradley Beal at the point guard sometimes. And it just didn't look right. You know what I'm saying? I feel like all, those two guys has been two guards their whole career. And this just didn't make sense for Devin Booker or Bradley Beal to be running a point primarily. Um, and they addressed that issue pretty good. Monte Morris, which is a pretty good guard. And then they also just signed Tyus Jones, which I think is a very underrated pickup. They got him on a one-year 3.3 million deal. Um, so Tyus Jones, and he actually, you know, Tyus Jones actually liked the position he has. You know what I'm saying? He has a position to start for a championship contender team. Um, and I think, like I said, I, like I said, I feel like this window for the Phoenix Suns is going to close real soon. Because I just don't think the the big three the big three thing is just not it's just not a thing like that in, in the NBA no more. You know, with the new bargaining agreement, um, Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, Bradley Beal sucking up most of the team's money, um, so they couldn't do too much around the roster. They just did the best they could this offseason. I I, know, I feel like they had a W offseason. They addressed the point guard issue. I do think they can use another big behind Nurkic or ahead of Nurkic. Um, but yeah, I think this team, like I said, they still got the trio: KD, Devin Booker, and Bradley Beal. So I think. I think the sky's the limit for this team still. Like I said, I'm a big KD fan. I want KD to get one more chip. That would be a dream come true if KD and the Phoenix Suns can figure out a way to win a chip next year. But I just don't think it's – I don't think they will. You know what I'm saying? But they did address their issue with the point guard. So I got them at number five. Ranking at number four. I ain't going to lie. I know this – I ain't going to lie. This kind of low for this team. You know what I'm saying? I hope I don't get a lot of backlash for this. But at number four, I have the Denver Nuggets. Okay? Um, the only reason I got them so low is because, for one, I feel like they lost a lot of key role players. I said that last season as well. I feel like, I feel like the, even last season, before this season that we just got out of, I feel like they lost a lot of real players, like, in general. You know what I'm saying? They lost Bruce Brown. That was on their championship team. Um, they done lost Reggie Jackson. They done lost. Uh, the biggest loss they probably lost was KCP. KCP went to the Orlando Magic. Um, I feel like he was a very good 3 and D role player for them. And I ain't like, you need a bench. You need depth to win in the, comp in the especially in the West. You need a lot of depth to win in the West. Um, and I just don't think... Denver has that, and I think that's the reason they end up losing to Minnesota. Minnesota just had a little more depth, a little more help around Anthony Edwards. Um, but it's still Nikola Jokic. You know what I'm saying? Nikola Jokic, I feel like he can defeat anybody in the West because he's just that good. But he needs help at the end of the day. Obviously, they still got Jamal Murray. They did have, a, they did do a good pickup with Brody. I don't know how well Russell Westbrook will fit with the Denver Nuggets. Westbrook last chance at the title. You know what I'm saying? This is his last chapter. He got a two-year deal with the Denver Nuggets, so he got a two-year window with the Denver Nuggets to get it done. I do think he was a good pickup for the bench. At number three, I think this actually is a good, very good spot for uh, number three. At number three, we got the Minnesota Timberwolves, okay? All right, I got them number three. Um, I, I feel like this team could obviously be one or two, um, but I ain't gonna lie, I just think this team relies a lot. Like, hopefully, Carlton Towns don't get injured. I'm not saying he will, but he has had some injury problems these last couple seasons. But he played majority of the games last season, which is a good thing. Um, I do like the Twin Tower approach. You know, Rudy Gobert, Carlton Towns, and then they got Nas Reed coming off the bench. They got, they got, they're real good at center. I'll say that. They're real good at center. They re they is ready for Denver. I feel like they, they better than Denver at this point. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that team, they did take Denver to seven games, seven games last season. Uh, I mean, last playoff, sorry. And I think that this team has a lot of all around this. You know what I'm saying? You got Anthony Edwards as your star player which could do everything. We've seen his defense improve. Um, we all know how athletic he is and how good he is just all around on offense. And his defense has been improving as well. But also they got defensive player of the year, Rudy Gobert down low, holding down the paint. And then, like I said, you got a six man of the year and Nas Reed off the bench. And then you still got Carnton Towns to deal with. He could drop 30 any night, any given night. He's uh, one of the best shooting big men in the league. He could also take it down low. I want to see Carnton Towns take it down low a little more. Um, be a little more aggressive down there, but then they also just drafted or they traded for Rob Dillingham in his draft um, We all don't know how well he will play this um season because we like I said We gotta give these rookies time to develop. We can't expect these but he is he is getting drafted into a championship type team So like 
he gotta have a little bit of expectations. But I think he can. I think he can actually spark the offense for Minnesota. I think Minnesota did lack, you know, scoring uh, options. Like I said, you got Carnty Towns, Anthony Edwards, but outside of that, a lot of their other players couldn't create their own shot. So I think getting Rob Dillingham kind of, you know, addresses that issue. Like I said, you could bring Rob Dillingham off the bench behind Mike Conley, and Mike Conley can obviously be that vet for him. You know help him out, give him tips and stuff like that. So I think the sky's the limit for Rob Dillingham, and I think the Minnesota Timberwolves is going to be a very good team. Yeah, the, Timber the Timberwolves made it to the uh, Western Conference Finals last season, so uh, I think the potential is still there for that team. They can obviously probably still make it to the Finals, but I got them at number three. At number two, this team had a very, very good offseason. I know I might get a lot of backlash for this because I'm not going to lie. I was thinking about it very hard. I was thinking about having this team at number one, but I don't know. I think I was being a little biased and put them at number two. I got the Oklahoma City Thunder at number two, man. Um, this team had a great offseason. You could actually probably say that they had the best offseason, if you want to argue that. Um, they signed Alex Caruso. Um, no, they didn't sign Alex Caruso, but they traded for Alex Caruso. Um, they didn't give up too much to get him. Um, and I think he adds so much value to this team. We all know how great Alex Caruso is. Just at defense, hustling. Um, he obviously can knock down the three a bit. Um, he's athletic. You know what I'm saying? He's, he can do a little bit of everything. But his defense is the main thing that the Oklahoma City Thunder picked him, uh, traded him for. Um, and having him in the backcourt with Shea Gilgis, with Shea Gilgis Alexander, I think that's a good fit. Because obviously, Shea can play some defense himself. And then you got Alex Caruso. And then you got Lou Dort at the three. Like, how do you score on this team? And then you got Chet down low, holding down the paint. Um, I think this young team just got a lot better at him. They added two great veterans. Um, the other veteran they added is Isaiah Hartenstein. He came from the New York Knicks, a nice big man. Um, if they want to start him next to Chet, I think that would be, that'd be insane. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the way they're trying to go. You know, so they can have Chet Holmgren at the four. Imagine Chet Holmgren at the four and then Isaiah Hartenstein at the five. That starting lineup, like I said, that starting lineup alone is probably like one of the best in the league as far as defense, offense, big man. Like that right there is fire. Like I said, I like that OKC. I like what OKC did this offseason. I'm not going to lie that. I kind of want to put them still at number one. Um, but yeah, man, then Shea Gillis Alexander is probably going to be an MVP candidate again next season. Um, like I said, he's very good at getting to the free throw line, scoring the ball. The defense is there. The length is there. And then on top of that, he got the team around him. So. I think the Oklahoma City Thunder is in a good spot at number two, and they could possibly get to the finals, man. You never know. And then at number one in the West, I know I might, I know y'all might be like, bro, you just being a little biased, but I got Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving, Klay Thompson, and the Mavericks at number one. Um, I just think that this, since the team made it to the finals, it's only right that I put them number one, and they had a very great offseason. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they actually put a good team around, you know, Luka Doncic. Um, we all know how great Luka Doncic is, man. He's obviously... I, I, th I think it's not even a biased take to say he's top three in the West. He's the top three player in the West at this point of his career, and he has a great team around him. He has Kyrie Irving around him, Klay Thompson now. I feel like Klay Thompson is a very good pickup and a very good fit next to Luka Doncic. Um, he's going to get a lot of open corner threes, and we we all know how great of a shooter Klay Thompson is. Um, even though he is getting older, I don't think his three-point shot will go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you got Kyrie Irving, one of the most gifted basketball players this generation has ever seen next to him. And then they also picked up guys like Quinn Grimes, Najee Marshall. Um, and then they even got Spencer Dinwiddie now. So they got a great backup point guard. They actually got a decent bench, if you ask me now. Um, and this team going to be scary. You know what I'm saying? They made it to the finals last season for a reason. Um, and then Jason Kidd, in my opinion, is actually a good coach. He's doing a very good job of coaching them. And then they got two solid big men in Derek Lively and Daniel Gafford. You know what I'm saying? Um, they got rid of Tim Hardaway. They, they did everything I wanted them to do. As a, as a Luka Doncic fan, the Mavericks did everything they could this offseason, in my opinion. They did the best thing. Po they did everything possible to make this team better, and they got better. You can't say that the Mavericks didn't get better. So that's my official top five for next season for the West. Um, you guys let me know down below in the comments if you disagree or agree with my list. Um, and like I said, I did, this, I did the same video but for the East last video. So if you didn't check that video out, do me a big favor. Go check that video out. You know what I'm saying? Then leave a like on this video if you enjoyed today's video. Um, hope you guys, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. You dig?